Hello everybody, this is Anton Tonitsky and I'll do a little overview of um, 3D Code Sketch Tool and I'll compare it to ZBrush Shadowbox which is really similar. I'll say that 3D Code Sketch Tool is my preferred tool, I think it's better than ZBrush Shadowbox but it's got its own you know, pros and cons. So I've done this piece in the Sketch Tool in about 10 minutes. I've also used it a lot on this gun turret and doing kind of, well, simpler stuff, but on, for example, this frame I would do, it, then I would punch some holes and create a shell punch holes, all that. But let's start from scratch and do a new, a new sketch. So we need to start with the voxel sculpting empty grid options, settings. And let's uh, go into objects uh, shelf and click on sketch. So by default to get this menu, I won't actually show you all planes, only one. It shows you a cube. So what we want to do when we do the same thing in shadow box, we want to clean it. We have to clean every single plane, there is no button to clean it all unfortunately. But anyway, so we can manipulate the opacity and all that. And let's start painting, right? So I've got my symmetry on those two sides and I think I'll go for like double symmetry like this. That will help me to create a more impressive object in, a, in less time, right? So, and I start to really quickly paint some type of a profile right so we need to put extra you know, information on the planes and we can actually turn them all <coughs> you know make them all transparent and just do like a free sculpting and jump in and out So the big advantage of the shadow box in ZBrush is the speed with which you create these profiles. And they are really crisp. You can create like smaller holes. Well, not too small, but like smaller holes, and, and you get an instant feedback. In in ZBrush shadow box, it's quite a delayed response, uh, especially on a higher resolution. Okay. And let's do some diagonal lines. So we use the diagonal tool. There is a problem with the diagonal lines. So you can see the line gets really jagged, and that's kind of unavoidable, unfortunately. You can apply some softness later when you're committed to the layer, but it will kind of destroy the whole mesh. And really, there's no other way but you'll have to manually clean it up later on. You do get less of a jagged line if you do a line of directly like 45 degree angle and you can snap it by pressing shift and I think it was actually 45 this yeah this shift yep yeah you get a, a bit of a better result actually actually it's uh, pretty decent <coughs> But if you do a free like this thing, you get a like a stairs type of uh, bad anti-aliasing something stain, and it cannot unfortunately up the resolution of the plane. And okay, let's add a couple few things, maybe a few cuts. Let's make a few diagonal cuts right here. I'm pressing Ctrl to make a cut. Um, and it's a pretty awesome profile already, you know, it's really fast. And so easy to iterate. Holes here and there. Okay, 
So we've got this piece of uh, propo that we are aiming with this all in all spaceship. If I switch to any tool, like I'll switch to transform. Oh, cattle. Doesn't matter. There's nothing here, right? There's nothing actually applied to a voxel layer, nothing committed to the actual scene. So we go back to sketch and we have to hit apply. Hit apply and it appears right here. It doesn't have enough Christmas because we don't have enough uh, resolution. So let's actually go up and increase it twice. So we get a denser layer, but be much crisper. That's a pretty cool part done in like two minutes. <clears throat> okay, the big advantage advantage of shadow box in zero is that you can commit a like uh, for example you've created this detail and you want to drop it back into sketch. You can do it in ZBrush, you can drop a part back into the shadow box and edit it. In sketch you, unfortunately you cannot drop anything back to sketch. Even if, I'm not sure, it might be a, a bug of this particular subversion, but even if I save the file and then reopen it later, I will lose my sketch. So, you kind of have to treat it as a one-off thing, let's, you cannot, you cannot save this, uh, no planes. You can, you can draw some stuff in Photoshop, input it as a reference image, like you can see here, I've got a, this particular folder and it will be applied to one of the projections so you can design something inside inside the Photoshop I don't think it's really a good idea I don't think it's really productive I'm trying to undo and I think I, I cannot even undo no I don't feel like that I think it's about to crash if I Okay, I'll just clear the paint. One of the, uh, yeah, so we, that's kind of I say I'd say it's a big drawback that you cannot do that. You cannot save anything. <clears throat> but another cool feature that you have is you can scale this stuff. That's which you cannot really do in zero. You cannot scale your sketch. Oh. Uh, you can have these options like to rotate stuff which can create you some random interesting shapes you know what to get not much in this case but sometimes you get pretty cool results and well let's try the shadow smoothing thing and let's put it to three and see what happens uh, like two it's Okay, yeah, you can see it. it's pretty, pretty awful, right? Yeah, you get your less of a jaggedness in lines, but I mean, all the, all the overall thing is way too smooth. But I mean, who knows? You might be going for that particular style. Like here on this frame, I actually smoothed it out quite a bit, and then I used the cut tool to cut some of the you know, sharpened parts here, sharper parts there and here and there. So I have this <clears throat> different, like, you know, different type of surfacing, smooth and sharp. What I want to do is I'll, I'll show you that you can also want to avoid doing any circles. Circles look pretty bad. Yeah. Well, unless it's a huge circle. Well, even a huge circle doesn't look good. So you, you do get better circles in shadow box, right? So it's really up to in the end what tool you want to use and I'll just press the wrong <coughs> hotkey and it spoiled a little bit of my modeling. But overall, I really recommend this tool to try it and play around in 3D code if you're using 3D code as one of your applications, which I would really recommend. I think it's an awesome software. Well, 
thank you for watching and uh, see you next time